<laughs> I guess meteorongs affect me in terms of taking up quite a lot of my time, but I don't really mind that. I regard that as a educational contribution to the general public, people who don't know much about rocks, meteorites, and so on. type of meteor wrong you get very much depends on where you are in the world. By living in southern Ontario and Canada, the most common kind of meteor wrong is a very distinctive nickel smelter slag from the Sudbury mining complex in central Ontario, of course, where the impact was 1850 million years ago. They don't know about that, but what they see are these shiny rocks with a submetallic luster, often with little bubbles in, although curiously they seldom recognize them as bubbles. They have a flow texture, which of course you get on some nice directional flow crust, so in, in the fusion crust of, of uh, stony meteorites. And so they look really unusual. They're also quite heavy and very magnetic. So that's a succinct description of one kind of meteor wrong. And of course, the Sudbury slag is all across Canada on the railway lines. I can attest to that. So nobody lives, unless they're way up north, lives very far from the slag. Conversely, if you lived in other places, limestone concretions or ironstone nodules or other things might be the uh, meteorong du jour. And so each region is going to have a very distinct, different meteorong than other regions. Oh, for sure. Like other places might have hematite nodules or all manner of other things. Plus. For some reason, some people get attracted to types of limestone, granite, just about any common rock type, basaltic rocks, and think that they're unusual. And this is basically it. So what I try to do, and I get email inquiries, I, I get people turning up, phone calls. Uh, I try to tell them what it is so that they're not just going away feeling grumpy because they said it's not a meteorite. I mean, that doesn't really help at all, you know. I mean, no matter how truthful I am, they might not believe me, and it's more useful if they actually know what they really have in their hand. And if it's a nice specimen or something, I'll tell them. I mean, after all these years, I've even got quite interested in the slag itself. Archaeologists are interested in slag. It goes back thousands and thousands of years. And the micro textures in a thin section of slag can be uh, absolutely stunning, even though the hand specimens are usually not terribly pretty, like some meteorites, of course. <laughs> 